Hello and welcome to Cargo Creations. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, this is a channel where we make the Magic Kingdom out of Lego. We've even got the resorts here. It's about 30 foot long and about 16 feet wide. And it is the second version of the park because I have moved it in the basement here. And um, I wanted to show you that we do have uh, Tomorrowland slid out a little bit over there because I made a new parade down Main Street. I thought it would be a good chance to show you guys the individual floats that I've created. And so we'll take a look at that. And um, you can kind of see that we've got a lot of mess going on up here near the resorts. We've got the Little Mermaid um, uh, uh, you know, piece that, that I have uh, kind of... Uh, made into the ride itself. So that set I made into the ride. I've got to get back that back into Fantasyland at some point. I've got some Star Wars sets up here. I've got a Buzz Lightyear, my custom uh, Peter Pan ride vehicle. I'm going to try to get that in the float form and get that in the park as well. Um, we've got the, uh, the great movie ride over here for you Hollywood studio fans. And I've kind of condensed everything down to this area of my pieces because I am, uh, if you've been following along, I have moved the park. It was in a different location. It's in a bigger space now in the basement. I am making a, uh, living room over here. And um, I've got uh, stud work up. I'm gonna have a barn door that opens right there to the park. And then over here is where the park used to be. It used to be here. Uh, the castle was down there and it ran up uh, this way. And that is where I'm gonna be making a bedroom. So um, that's what's going on down here. That was inspired the move, not only to finish the basement, but I needed more space for the park so it expanded about five feet or so and um, it is uh, turned out really well so I still have a lot of cloud work to do um, but I wanted to show you guys some of the ride vehicles or some of the parade uh, floats uh, in the uh, Magic Kingdom so I have this table here has has been moved out I did that on purpose so I could get to Main Street easier than what I had before um, here's that mashup area that I've been working on recently, but let's take a look at the, uh, floats. So uh, as we come down main street here, I use the old, like, um, oh, the old time, uh, night and, and that set that I use to put mini Mickey on. Um, I also have the old time mini Mickey on the fire truck and they're kind of, uh, filtering out of the park now. Uh, down Main Street. We've got um, Frozen with Elsa and Anna. You can see her in the front there. And then the float after that, I took the um, Aladdin mini uh, build and made a float out of that. And then we have um, the Haunted Mansion from Disneyland I made into a float. We've got Jack Skeleton on the top of that. I know that new set is out. I think it's on back order right now. That's a really cool, The Nightmare Before Christmas is a really neat set. I'd like to get that and add that to my Haunted Mansion area back there at some point. Uh, then I have a custom uh, float here. We've got the, uh, we've got Anakin and um, Obi-Wan, the fight scene on Mustafar. Those are the old figures that when you press the head, the lightsaber uh, goes on. So you can kind of see there, you can see how it lights up there. These are pretty old. That one, I don't know if that works anymore. Yep, that's on there too. So um, it's kind of a neat, uh, neat throwback, those pieces. Some of you guys remember those. Um, but that's on one side. And then the other side, I have uh, Tatooine with the two moons there. And we've got some characters on that side as well. So that was a custom build. Along with this one here, I got the um, uh, Snow White uh, Cottage for um, the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train ride in the back in Fantasyland there. But I use these pieces for a float. So I kind of, I took the, um, I think that was the New Year uh, float and I kind of changed it into um, the, um, the Snow White float. So I kind of added all the pieces and the characters and kind of made that into the float. So I used the, uh, the well, 
as we get down in there, and the um, the coffin, and kind of made that into that float. So, and behind that, uh, we've got the Toy Story float. So we got Andy's room. That's a custom build. I've had that for a while. Um, we've got Andy's room on one side, and then on the other, I have uh, Woody and some of the little green men and RC. And so that's a double-sided float as well. And then uh, right after that one, we have um, Lightning McQueen and Mater. That one. And then behind that, we've got Sleeping Beauty. And then we have Cinderella and the horse-drawn carriage. And then we have Maleficent and the dragon. And yes, that new, that's the new dragon in that set that just came out. Um, I had a dragon before and it was the um, Ender Dragon from Minecraft. And everybody always had comments about that. But like I said to them, I use what I got. And they came out with this one. This was a cool looking set. So I kind of used that, adapted it for this. And then we have, that is another um, custom, kind of. It's not much custom except for the fact that it is on an old, I think a Duplo uh, skeleton set or something. I don't know it's the landscaping of that. And I've got it on wheels there. And that's a throwback to uh, episode seven of Star Wars. And then we've got uh, an up float as well, right in front of Adventureland there. So that is the current um, parade that I have. Let me get back into... There we go. That's the current float, um, or the parade that I have going on down Main Street there. And as we come around here, it's pretty crowded. And we can see the whole gang, even Walt there at the front of the castle. And then as we come up to the castle here, we do have Tinkerbell there. And um, it's really crowded down Main Street. I really made a conscious effort to go both sides. Let's take you a, a ride down Main Street there. So. As we go, you can kind of see the crowd as we go down Main Street there. Hopefully you can hear that. I didn't put my finger over the microphone there. And then we've got all the way down to the train station there. Sorry for the shakiness there. And um, so as we look again around the park, if you haven't been with us, we've got Adventureland over there and uh, Frontierland. We've got Liberty Square. I see the Haunted Mansion back there as well. And we have Fantasyland. We even have the Sky Buckets. If you guys remember the Sky Buckets, I've had those up. I don't know if I'm going to take those down. I really like the, the throwback to the old time. Um, I really like that. Um, we've got uh, Small World and Peter Pan and Filler Magic's uh, coming. It's there. The building's there, but I've got to get the signage up. That's turned out real well. And I've got to get some people back there, too. I've got some back in Fantasyland, but man, it's pretty bare here. I know that. I've got a Star Wars band going on right there, right behind the castle there. But um, yeah, if I've got to get uh, a lot more minifigures, so if you guys are interested in filling up the park for me, I will send you guys some photo pass pictures. Um, I'll put it at the end of the video here, the information for that. Again, guys, I'm just, I think it's fun. It's interactive. I like communicating with everybody that watches the channel and watches, uh, sees my other social media and that. Um, you're more than welcome to send me your minifigs. I will create a, recreate a picture. I will do at least two places that you want me to and put your minifigures in the park. Um, they'll stay and populate the park. And um, I will send you the pictures on, uh, you know, I'll email them to you or DM, uh, somehow I'll get them to you. Uh, put that information in there. I'll put the information on the back of this video here. So, and then also we have uh, Tomorrowland here as well. And that again is on the table that slides out, okay? And so, and if you haven't been just recently, we did a little mashup here. We've got, uh, oh, I've even got, uh, I'm, I'm gonna in incorporate the Wizard of Oz into the mashup too. So I got that sitting there. Um, like I said, it's a little messy right now, but that's kind of what, you know, at times it gets like, 
Um, I really appreciate you guys following and liking and sharing. And um, please, if you know anybody that likes Lego or Disney, hey, point them to the channel. It's always kid friendly. And um, I think uh, it's, it's good fun for everyone. The nostalgic aspect of it is just great. So until next time, guys, we will see you soon. Bye-bye now.